food plays a huge role in French culture. It's something that I have covered in many, 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 many videos before. In fact, we have several unwritten rules about food and meals in France, one of which is that we never snack between meals. Unlike in many other cultures, French people actively avoid snacking so that we can concentrate on three structured meals each day. This, of course, has an impact on how we socialize around food and how we live our day-to-day -day life. In today's lesson, I will give you a special inside look at this aspect of French culture. C'est parti! French language doesn't really have a word for a snack. You could say un nanka, un nanka, but it's uncommon. That's because for French culture, meals are sacred. We have le petit déjeuner, le petit déjeuner, that's breakfast. We have le déjeuner, le déjeuner, that's lunch. And then we have le dîner, le dîner is dinner. These are a time to sit down and share quality time with your friends and family. It is a time to enjoy a good conversation with the people you're sharing the meal with. And also to take the time to eat enough so that you won't need to snack later. At le petit déjeuner, French people might talk about their nights and their plan for the day. All this while enjoying le café, le café, coffee, and maybe also une tartine, une tartine, a slice of toast, with maybe de la confiture, de la confiture, jam. Some people might also have des céréales, des céréales cereals for breakfast, especially kids. Then for lunch, things get real with proper meals. French culture really likes quality food after all. If you're lucky enough to eat les produits du terroir, les produits du terroir, local products from le Terroir. Le terroir, le terroir is a French concept that is an alliance between the land, the ancestral culinary know-how and the caring farmers. You can also choose ingredients with a special label of quality or impact. For instance, on this picture, you can find two famous French labels, which are le label rouge, literally the red label, le label rouge for high quality meat, and le label bio, le label bio, which is AB, AB in French, for organic groceries, which are issues de l'agriculture biologique, issues de l'agriculture biologique. And by the way, you will find much more about these labels in the blog post for today's lesson over at my website, as well as the full written lesson with extra insights, vocabulary, and more. Just click on the link below the video in the description to check it out. Of course, this is an ideal. Sometimes the food is not as great for one of many reasons. Maybe you're at home and you don't have the time to cook. Maybe la cantine, la cantine, the cafeteria at your work or school doesn't have the best ingredients, or maybe you're simply in a bad restaurant. Or at least you're not alone. At least you shouldn't be. French people will avoid manger debout, manger debout, eating standing up, or manger seul, eating alone. Meals are supposed to be a social occasion rather than just a big snack where you are eating simply because you're hungry. With French meals, you are supposed to take your time and make conversation. That being said, there is one dedicated time for snacking, actually. It is called le goûter, le goûter. It is an afternoon snack designed usually for children after school around 4 p.m. The verb goûter, goûter, means to taste. Adults might also partake in le goûter with un petit gâteau, un petit gâteau, a cookie, or un pain au chocolat, for instance. Un pain au chocolat especially if they have a sweet tooth. But that's not really snacking. Because le goûter is like an organized snacking. It is still something that you can share with other people. Now, the closest word we have in French for to snack is grignoter. Grignoter to nibble or to snack. Grignoter. As in, for example, j'ai un petit creux, est-ce que tu as quelque chose à grignoter? I am a little bit hungry, do you have something that I can snack on? J'ai un petit creux, est-ce que tu as quelque chose à 
grignoter. This verb of grignoter is especially used for grignoter entre les repas, to snack between meals, grignoter entre les repas. It is something you do mindlessly, a bit covertly. And we are often warned against grignoter entre les repas, including by French law. For your health, avoid snacking between meals. This message has to appear on food advertising or its variation. For your health, avoid eating too much fat, too much sugar, too much salt. Le gras, le gras is fat. It is a noun. Le gras. Then we have le sucre. Le sucre, it's sugar. And we have le sel. Le sel is salt. These warnings are especially intended for children and teenagers. Because as a culture, we believe that snacks can lead children to l'obésité. Obésité. L'obésité. Or at least to a generally unhealthy lifestyle. That's why, for instance, they banned les distributeurs automatiques, les distributeurs automatiques, vending machines in French schools. All this to fight against la malbouffe, la malbouffe junk food. And it goes with regular marketing and positive health advertisement campaigns on TV as well. It comes from the French government agency Santé Publique France, France Public Health. These cute campaigns can be directed at kids by saying avoid snacking during the day. Or they can aim at adults by saying things like Alors pour mieux manger, commencez simplement par améliorer un plat que vous aimez déjà. Commencez par améliorer un plat que vous aimez déjà. Commencez par améliorer un plat que vous aimez déjà. Start by improving a dish that you already like. This way, you can eat a bit more of des fruits et des légumes, des fruits et des légumes, without having to learn how to cook a whole new dish. But of course, they wouldn't do all these efforts if snacking was not at all a thing in France. Even though it goes against the social rules of meals in France, and even a bit against les bonnes manières, les bonnes manières, good manners. But French people do snack during the day, but maybe less than in other cultures. And it might be way less socially encouraged or approved in general. In the culture, it is known as wrong. And now you can keep on exploring with five things that French people never do. Dive more into French culture and let's spend more time together. Click right here on your screen and I will see you in the next video. Allez, à tout de suite.